Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead and I'm out on my balcony and I'm getting ready to make some lavender uh, essential oil and um, what I did two weeks ago is I harvested uh, my lavender and I allowed it to dry um, in this basket here and it sat in the basket for about two weeks and it's time to go on and make my lavender essential oil um, so what I did on yesterday is I sterilized uh, my jars uh, and here you see I'm using a small jar because I didn't have a whole lot of lavender uh, that I harvested. So I sanitized my jars and the lids and I allowed it to um, dry uh, for a full day because you don't want any moisture in your bottle. Um, and I've gone on and removed the petals from the stem. And to show you how I did it, um, if you see here, I just break it off right where the bulb, the petals end. And I'm going to place this whole part, trying to do it with one hand. Let's see here. There it is. And so that's how much I remove from the stem. Just break it off right here at this point. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lavender into the jar. And you want to push it down as far as you can. I'm making a mess here. You don't need to remove the petals from the stem because after you pour your oil in, um, it's going to fall off when you shake the jar anyway. So I'm going to stuff it as best I can here. And the type of oil that I'm using is the Bertoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And press it down really good. And uh, when you get ready to make your, your lavender oil, you're going to need a pair of gloves because you don't want um, any moisture to come into contact with your lavender. And you're going to need glass jars. And when you get ready to store your lavender, you're going to need a dark colored bottle. And I will be using this one that I purchased uh, from Amazon. And they come with these pump dispensers. And they also sent um, these stickers uh, that you can use to label um, your bottle. And so after you've gone on and you've placed all of your lavender into your, your bottle, you want to add your olive oil. And I will be using this lavender oil for my hair and skin. But of course, you can use uh, lavender oil for other uses. Um, it aids with um, sleeping. It can help relieve headache. Um, it's also uh, used uh, as a furniture polish. Um, you can make sachets with it. So many different uses. And so after you have um, filled your container with oil, you want to top it up. And you want it to be pretty tight. And then you will take your jar and you'll shake it up. And you're going to leave it out in the sun for about three days. After which time um, you're going to um, strain the oil with cheesecloth. And um, you want to use something that has a spout that will be easy for you to transfer your oil into these little small bottles. And the kit also came with a cute little funnel also that you can use if you can see the funnel here. Um, but um, once you've placed your oil in your bottle, then you can um, store your oil in a dark and dry place in which I'll be using one of my closets uh, to store my oil. But that's it. That is how um, I am making uh, lavender essential oil today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. 
subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.